What's going on guys? Uh, today we're going to try something a little bit different. Um, we're actually going to take a little bit of a tour uh, around the, the setup that I got going on over here. Um, but what we're, we're actually going to do is uh, I'm going to show you guys how to set up one of these uh, on the edge of a table. So the other day my card reader actually broke. I've been using this guy for the longest time. Uh, it was free. Uh, I just never got around to buying another card reader. This thing finally died. A uh, little piece of crap, little uh, little card reader can do uh, SD or uh, micro SD. And yeah, so I actually got one of these guys, which is uh, you know not a, not a super expensive one, but uh, supports USB 3.0 and uh, nice and flush. And I could mount it right next to the the USB hub that I already have mounted on the table. So I figured, uh, let me just show you guys how I did it and uh, we'll do it to this guy and hopefully it works. So uh, let's take a closer look at this one over here. All right, so as you can see here, um, I actually have this glued to the bottom of the table. If you were to do this, um, it's not actually going anywhere. So uh, this wire is actually going to be hooked up to an extension, a USB extension, that's going to run all the way down that. Okay, so uh, let's start off with uh, what we're going to need. So obviously you need your uh, whatever you're going to mount. Um, just make sure when you buy something, you make sure that the bottom of it with the part that you're going to mount is flat so you can get the most surface tension uh, when it's actually attached to the bottom of the table. We have a... USB 3.0 um, extension cable. We actually have some uh, uh, two-part epoxy. Uh, it comes usually comes with uh, two tubes, right? So we got two parts. Uh, you're gonna mix them evenly, equal parts A and B. And uh, after a little while, they're gonna harden. Don't get this on anything besides um, what you're gonna glue. Otherwise, you're screwed. It's not gonna come off. Um, so just be really, really careful with this that you don't get it on anything else. I usually try to put it on um, a piece of plastic or on a um, piece of cardboard whenever I'm not using it, just in case something bad happens. Um, need a drink. Hold on a sec. Ah, like my buddy Mike would say. You got a drink. <clears throat> Grab it. Take a sip. Relax with me for a little bit. So um, next thing you need is uh, I, I highly recommend... Um, these kits from Ikea. Ikea actually has um, uh, about five or six different um, kits for things around the house. This is actually the cable management kit. It is called uh, Fixa. Um, I guess that's how you say it. Um, so yeah, it, it, has a, it has a bunch of different, it has some zip ties, it has some uh, Velcro, has a bunch of different styles of uh, cable management um, things for the house. Uh, this thing's awesome. Love it. I've used it so much already. Um, and here's the best part. It costs like $5. This thing, $5. Just for this little uh, tub, I would I would pay 5 bucks. Just for this little storage thing. Um, so this is a killer, killer deal. Great. Highly recommended. So besides that, we need some uh, painter's tape. Um, I like to use the yellow type. Uh, the, this is actually the Frog brand. This stuff's awesome because it doesn't damage whatever you stick it onto. Uh, you could peel it off, no problem. It's, it's still tacky enough to hold things up, but you're going to take it off later, so you don't want it to leave any residue behind, and you also don't want it to rip up your paint uh, off your table or off your walls or whatever, so painter's tape. Good painter's tape. It's, uh, I highly recommend spending the extra dollar and get the better, the better painter's tape because it is definitely worth it. Uh, besides that, maybe some scissors. Cut, cut a couple things and a small little piece of uh, of cardboard so that you can mix the epoxy on top of. All right, so uh, let's cut this thing open and see see what's inside. What the hell just that? It's just like exploded. All righty. So as you can tell, like I said before, um, it's it's very flat, and this is the side that we're actually going to mount on the bottom of the table. So it's going to go like that. This one actually has the opening um, on the front and on the side. Uh, so we're going to make sure that we mount this side facing outward. Um, so facing this is going to be the front of the table. 
and but we're still going to have access to the side here if we need for some reason that. Um, ideally, you wouldn't mount this to something, so you would be able to use both sides no problem. I basically am only going to use the front. Okay, so first things first, uh, you got to decide exactly where you're going to mount it. So uh, in our case, we're going to put it right here. So just make sure that it's flush here. Let's make sure that uh, we can access this that way. No, it's going to go in upside down because the thing is upside down. So boom, right there. So now uh, we're going to take uh, our two-part epoxy and, uh, and mix it up evenly, as evenly as we can. Just take a little glob of this. Make sure you cap this. Uh, take a little glob of the other one. Try not to touch the, uh, the different types to each other. Try to make it as even as possible. Again, it doesn't need to be perfect. Just for the most part, uh, do your best. So now you just take those two pieces of cardboard, like I said before, mix them up. Ooh, this stuff's stanky. So after I mix this well, if you don't mix it well, it's not going to harden properly or it's going to take forever to harden. Um, then you're not going to have a good hold and you're going to be wasting your time. So just make sure you uh, do a decent enough job where it's nice and mixed. And now you're going to take the whatever you're going to attach to the bottom of the table and uh, just slather, slab, slather, slabber, sl slobber. Um, put some of this on it. Try not to get any off the edge um, because you'll be regretting that too because then it'll get, it'll look like crap hanging off the side of your table. So, uh, so this stuff actually hardens um, pretty hard uh, but it takes a while to get to that point. So, you, uh, that's what you need the tape for. Um, remember that we, uh, we set up some, some tape to hold this little guy up while it hardens. So I'm going to take a piece of the tape. Put it right behind this, like that. Now we are going to position this wherever we want it. All right, so um, now we just wait. Now uh, let's see what the instructions, I believe, say to wait about an hour. Nope, the instructions don't say anything because I, uh, I lost them. So um, we're going to wait a couple hours and then, uh, then we'll come back and finish up the mounting. <clears throat> Alright, so it's been about uh, maybe about an hour, I'd say, and uh, it's, it's, it's dry. Um, it actually seems stronger than the other one because I actually put more of the two-part epoxy on it. Let me flip this over and show you guys. So I just have the USB cable there temporarily to uh to make sure that everything is working um let me take off this tape and we'll go check it out down here we got uh the new guy right here you can see that one of the openings on the side is actually right there okay uh so now we just have to figure out the two usb cables um it looks actually pretty good So now all we got to do is do some cable management. Um, I actually got to purchase another USB because uh, I bought this one just to test out to make sure that I had um, not too much wire and not too little, just to you know, make sure it's just right. Um, so we're going to actually hardwire one of them in and mount it, and I will show you how I do that. Um, be a little time lapse right now. Boom. <music>
ended up using uh, about four of these. Um, we used two of the bigger ones over here and uh, two of the smaller ones right there. So now when I get this other wire in, um, this one's just going to run right next to it. Right there. It's going to go right that way, all the way down. And I meet up with those and work their way back behind the thing. So from the front, that's what you get. Right there. And uh, if you guys want to see the rest of this, that's what we got for, uh, for power. This is a uh, custom bracket I had to make to, uh, to fit this uh, monitor mount over here. Um, these wires are temporary. They're not actually going to stay here, obviously. Definition of temporary. Yeah, so then we got the power cable right here, just coming straight down. I actually flip this upside down so that the, this guy goes up as opposed to, uh, to down. But it looks pretty clean. It's the front of the table. So yeah, that was that. Was that. Uh, so pretty soon I won't be having these, like I said before, temporary where is it? Temporary wires right there. Um, if anybody's interested, I could go over how, uh, how I did this right here, um, which I, I don't know. I, I think it came out pretty good. The monitors look, look good mounted there like that. That was, that was the first video that I did like this. So if you guys have any comments, let me know. Um, if you guys want to see some more, uh, tour and, uh, tips on how to cable management stuff, cap cable manage stuff, well, cable, yeah, we'll go with cable manage stuff. Uh, let me know. And uh, I'm Kai Vox. Thanks for watching. Uh, see you next time. It records you or listens to you and then plays back your sound at a slight delay. So what happens is uh, your brain doesn't know how to handle that. And it starts trying to compensate for hearing your voice at a slight delay. So you kind of start slowing down. You kind of start not sounding like you anymore um and it is completely weird what it does i definitely